Hello, and welcome back to Super Auto Pets. I'm going to go in and immediately regret all of this. I don't want any of this. Instead, oh my god, fine. I'll take, I'll take, why did I put that in the wrong order? I'll take an ant, a beaver, and a mesquite there. I don't like taking beaver, oh my god. Um, nasty chunks. Shout outs to Ghoul with the nasty chunks. <laughs> I think the naming in the game is actually the most fun part. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's the best. Oh, that's a bad trade. I don't want to trade with a duck. Yo, the snipe on the pig, though! Misty Rider's getting blown up right there. Erebus Wolf, see you later, dude. Get, get sniped. Okay, so if I sell, we give random friends life back. Uh, I'd rather just sell it now, to be honest. I'll just buy, um... I'll buy a bunch of crickets. I'll leave that there. We take two crickets, and I'll take another mosquito in the back. I'll save the honey for a future... There we go, look at that. We've got three crickets. I don't want to go any more than that. Another ant. I'll take an otter. Actually, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it to re-roll. Who cares? We've got a strong ant that can trade with a 2-1 ant. Uh, with a with a, a, a duck. A 1-2 duck if they decide to be stupid. But no one ever does. Why would you put a duck in the front, dude? Bam. Yeah, there we go. I survived the mosquito snipe. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, not pretty good because we're going to trade all the way. Wait, no. Yes. The huge bagels tie with us because our ant came in kind of clutch helping us out there. Now that we're up to level 3, or round 3, I should say, I'm going to get a Toidle! Aww, we get a little Toidus. I'm gonna put the Toidle... Mm. Do I... I don't want to pill my ant. I, I don't want to uh, Melon Armor my ant. I'd rather Melon Armor the Cricket. The Cricket's stronger. But I'll take the Turtle. Why not, dude? I'll take it. I'll leave that frozen there for a second. We'll try and find something better. Ah, oh, this is all sucky, dude. I'm not gonna lie. It's all pretty sucky. Actually, I've got a pill here for the turtle at some point. I'll save that. Instead, let's... Ah, uh, fine. Let's just do this. Upgrade the... Good. Upgrade the cricket even more. That cricket's going to become ripped. That's going to be a ripped cricket with big melon armor and big damage and just big everything. I need to find something worth pilling, though. Uh, worth pilling onto from that turtle. Getting a turtle this early is kind of nice. That is a really big puff puff, by the way. Yeah, the huge ice cubes. Shoutouts to Seven. Um, that was not in our favor. Yo, Peacock? Please, dude, give me, give me, uh... No. A swan? I'll take a swan. I'll ditch this for a swan. Actually, I should be ditching that for a horse, but the swan... I want the money. I really do want the money instead. What if I play a bit more conservatively? What if I pill the ant over this cricket, make it a really strong cricket, put this back here. Actually, put you up there. And then we do this. What if I do that? What if I... And then I don't do that. I do... I'm going to keep my swan longer, so I'm going to do this. There we go. There's the play. There's the play. We put the swan in the back with the honey. For the good trades. We take the horse for now. Because I'm still looking for something to pill. I'm looking for an ox, realistically. If I'm looking for, like, the best thing to pill in front of... With a, a turtle... Probably an ox, just to get more bonus damage. Speaking of, of oxes, we just saw one right there. The moist fossils tying it up with us. A tied game is better than a losing game. I don't, I don't care, whatever, I'll tie the game. I care, I don't care, I don't give a damn. Um, I'm gonna save the garlic armor for now. I don't want a sheep. Come on, dude, I'm looking for some specific things. A hedgehog? Don't make me do something stupid like going for that. We need to save the pill. No, I'm rolling again. I know people are getting mad at the fact that I'm rolling. <gasps> what if I made a level 2 turtle and then we melon armored two things? That's kind of crazy, right? A giraffe? A giraffe sounds kind of nice. Let's ditch this thing. Let's put this here. I'm just going to make a mega cricket, dude. At this rate, mega cricket is what's going to happen here. Um, yo, there's the turtle that we need. Maybe I make a mega crab. I could take a crab for next turn. No, where is... <gasps> Blowfish. I'm going to go for the dream. I'm going to go for the dream and try and make a really big blowfish. This is this is what I see. This is what I see in my future. I would otherwise like a garlic on it, but I might, I might sack the turtle onto the cricket and take a really big blowfish. Maybe? I believe in nasty chunks either way. I believe in this. Turtle's going to run out here and trade with something and die. Double blowies and a badger on the end. This dude's living my dream. You are living my dream, you son of a bitch. How dare you? Uh, yep. Yep, beast trade, squeaky hipsters. Too bad, dude. My dad went out for milk. Oh, no! You see his name? Oh, that's tragic. Sell the horse. Put this here. Put that up there. Do that. Put this here. Yep, 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 yep. 
I'm going to level up my toitus. <gasps> worm? Okay, worm is way better. Worm is way better. I need to make room. I need to make room. Someone get out of my way. Who am I selling? I'm selling the swan. I'm sorry, swan. I'm selling the swan. Uh, we move this back. We move this back. We take the worm. We put the worm here. Give two friends melon armor. We're going to pill it. I realize I'm now down on one, but this is fine. I'm going to put you up here. Put you here. Put you here. You can stay there because you're not near anyone. And we're going to end turn. There we go. That's what we're doing. That is what we do. We're going to make a big fat worm. I just need a rabbit. And the worm is on deck. All I need is a rabbit. You watch this turn around. People are out there shaking their heads going, what the hell are you doing? You've got a bison on a three fish already, dude. Degen. Degen Neret. Of course, the, the whale had a swan inside of it and I lose because of that. All right, dude. This is... There's the rabbit. We get the rab. We I don't need the garlic armor anymore. Get the garlic armor out of here, dude. Instead, we're going to re-roll it. I'm going to take the double pears and we're going to force feed our worm lots of pears. The rabbit then buffs the worm with more life after he eats. He gains damage and life after eating. So it's like the pears give him a boost. He gives himself a boost. The rabbit gives him a boost. Everyone is boosting this rabbit right now. I'm going to lock this in because then when he levels up level two, he buffs up the two front people instead of just the first one. And we're going to move on to the next turn. Now we've got a build. Now we've got a build. The cricket is the only thing that doesn't really make sense right now, but the cricket is firm. The cricket is strong. The cricket is 14 damage at the front for free. Why do you have a badger there? Doesn't matter because you're gonna... The badger's proc was wasted. The fatherly poses. The badger's proc was wasted, dude. I don't know why you put a badger in the middle like that. But whatever, dude. I don't care. Uh, rabbit power. Rabbit power. I don't care about any of this. Roll. Give me food. Feed the, feed the worm. Yes, dude. Feed the worm. Buff the worm. Believe in the worm. Uh, this worm is going to become thick. The fact that he's got melon armor as well, not bad. He's already set up for endgame. We just need to get more worms and more food into him. Find some cows. Find some some monkey action even. Um, yeah, the double hit. Oh no, that peacock is going to become an issue. JK, we got melon armor. <laughs> the edible glasses. Sorry, edible glasses. Sorry, dude. Um, uh, I don't want any of this, dude. I don't want any. I could uh, save the snail, but I'm not. I'm not doing any of that. <gasps> Yo, a seal? Mm, no, the seal conflicts too much. Because the idea is, if the seal eats food, because if I do multi-food things like this, right? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it, dude. I'm going for it. So we feed the worm still. But the oh, oh, we're going with the seal, the seal build. So the idea is we feed a multi-food like this, three random pets. Let's say, for example, the worm dodges one. That's sad for us, right? But the seal gets it. He then gives two random friends one, one anyway. So the seal gets buffed and still buffs everyone else. There's so much food synergy right here. See that? The seal got fed. Still didn't feed the worm, but look at all the buffing. Look at all the buffing, all right? It's a buffet out here. <laughs> Please laugh. Please laugh. I'm trying so hard here. Please laugh. Um, and then the giraffe still buffs the front two people. So we've still got really strong worm and cricket at the front. This this could go places. We've also got just a rabbit at the back. So in case there's a crocodile out there. Um, your worm, inferior to my worm, but his... Okay, his spiciness did trade with us. Doesn't doesn't matter too much. We, we Yes, the rabbit. Yes, the wet parts. Wet parts down. Down to the nasty chunks. Confirmed. The nasty chunks are superior to wet parts. Um, is it still salad season? Is it still salad season or are we beyond salad season? I think we're past salad season, aren't we? Nah, too bad. I'm going to do it anyway. We feed the seal. The seal then buffs the worm. Thank you for buffing the worm. Thank you, rabbit, for buffing everyone else. Um, I could put some honey on the rabbit at the back. Or I could just jack up my worm some more. I might just do that for a second. Here, do this. Put some honey on the on the rabbit at the back just for safety's sake. Buff the rabbit. Yeah, just, just keep doing that, dude. Keep doing that. We're going to make this worm thick. A 23-28 worm, not bad for now. I'm going to keep doing it. He's got the melon armor, so he's kind of immune to the, the whole... Oh, look at this. Look at this stupid fish right here. We're going to trade melons. I'm going to break through anyway. I'm about to... I'm about to blow up. Uh, uh, uh. You think you're stupid? Your stupid badger frightens me? Your badger doesn't frighten me whatsoever. You're an idiot. Pizza is amazing right now. Pizza, this team. The seal gets fed, the seal then feeds the worm, the rabbit then feeds everyone who got... It all works, dude. It all works. Reroll it out. We get another seal. I'm going to save the seal. What, do I save the seal or do I feed the seal? I'm going to give the seal. I'm going to give the seal and then we're going to put... 
garlic, probably on the seal itself, just because it's a decent defensive buff and most of our team is pretty thick damage-wise. We just need some buffs on them. The, the giraffe needs something, maybe a chili or a bit of meat, maybe even a steak if we get that far. Um, oh, you survive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo, the, the, the little chick. Ah, oh, dude, the little chick got completely destroyed by my summoned cricket. This is nice, dude. Insolent riders, this is working. Oh, look, we could even buff up the seal. So now that the seal is buffed, he gives even more bonus stats to nearby people. So the sushi, if the sushi lands on the seal, the seal still buffs the worm and he's still getting stronger. But look, all, all of them are getting pretty thick, to be honest. They're all getting pretty juicy up there. The mushroom doesn't help us whatsoever because all it does is respawn someone after they die. The cricket is like the most obvious choice for that, but he's got a melon armor and I, don't, I just don't care. We've got a worm down here. I'm going to feed the worm to the worm. I'm going to re-roll. I'm not going to look at the at the stupid apple. This is all trash. We'll move in. We're moving in, dude. We've got it. We've got it. We're getting there. We're getting there. We've got 34 damage at the front. We've got a good, was that, 52, 54 damage at, at the second spot. Oh, look, a chili. Of course, dude. Of course he's got a whale build. Of course you've got a whale build. He's going to start trying to hit my worm. Too bad for you. Wait, no. What is this? What is this? Nah, it's fine. Friendly herbs goes down. I was worried for a second. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of like for for a mo a cow, dude. Mm, not a cow noise, but getting close. Maybe I take a cow. Oh, the cows are nice. The cows are nice. I could sell the giraffe. Look at all, look, dude. They just they keep buffing. They just don't stop buffing. I might sell the giraffe because I can put something else there. The giraffe is pretty thick. I'm gonna uh, hang on. I'm gonna lock the cow in for a second and take a look at a reroll. Um, there's like nothing else here, dude. Uh, 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 I could, I could just muffin. I could cupcake, sorry. I could cupcake the worm and then sell the giraffe, stick the cow there. I mean, the giraffe is giving one, one. I mean, technically the rabbit might be my worst pet right now instead of the giraffe. To be honest, now that I think about it, maybe I sell the rabbit instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might sell the rabbit. And then uh do one more roll. I can I can afford one more roll if that's the case. I'm overthinking, I know, but yeah, okay, here we go. We sell the rabbit. The rabbit's Oh, another worm. Hang on, buff the worm first. Ah, oh, damn, dude. Ah, oh, dude, tiger cub. Okay, okay, hang on. The worm is now extra thick. If we sell the rabbit, we get one gold, which is enough to buy the the, the cow. Moo, the cow is in the back as, as crocodile fodder. We get two milks. We feed the milks to the worm. The milks are one ones, but the worm gets two two from his own effects. So they're actually three threes. He's almost max life and a lot of attack right there. Next turn, the goal is to get rid of the cow, find something else to sit in the back, probably a feeder, something like that. I could have locked in the tiger and kept it as a as a um a, a buff for like, I don't know, what, the cricket? It's kind of stupid. Yo, look at the steak on this thing. Oh, you're mean. You're mean. You're vile, but I'm more vile, Stormy Bushes. The nasty chunks beat the Stormy Bushes. And now I'm looking for... Ooh, another melon armor. Don't mind if I do. Maybe I melon armor the giraffe. Um, Piazza. I actually don't want to lock in that melon armor. I can't believe I fed the cow. That was a waste. Um, What's going to go back there? I could put a leopard there. Just, just as a thing to try and snipe a melon armor off of someone. I've got a steak. The steak is actually what I really want. Here we go. We'll put the cheetah here. The cheetah serves like no purpose, but I'm going to feed the giraffe. We'll re-roll real quick and uh, I don't care about any of this, dude. We're just going to stay the course. The worm is already like carrying this pretty hard. The cricket is also doing a lot. He's tanking the first hit and is like eating melon armors for me. Like, look at this. He will trade here. He won't kill. Oh, the snipe. It did. It worked. Yo. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Look at all the steak. <gasps> the precious shirts with four life left on that stupid monkey. Okay, we need, we need, ooh, we need, I've got chocolate here. I could feed chocolate to the worm, but the worm doesn't need it. The worm doesn't need it, dude. The worm doesn't need it. I need to find other stuff instead. I need to buff the rest of my team. Get rid of this cheetah. Nothing here takes the cheetah's place. Another seal. Okay, none of this helps me either. What are you doing? Actually, hang on. I could sell the leopard and go for the cow. Sell Leopard, buy Cow real quick. We're going to buff the Worm a little bit more just to get his attack up there. Right, the Worm is now thick enough that I don't have to worry about him anymore. Instead, we're going to roll out and find Pizza. 
that's fine, dude. I, I don't mind. I, I like that. We're on death's door, technically, so what I might do is cupcake my cricket. Just as a as a last ditch effort, you know, just as a thing that I can do. Let's just cupcake the cricket. So the cricket has a bit more top end damage because the worm is almost done. We end turn. The crit the worm is buffed up to 4950 and a 3035 cricket. It's it's pretty strong. The nasty chunks, I believe. The cow at the back for moral support. The scorpion is going to be wasted because No! The snipe on my cricket! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, nasty hikers. You tried. You tried so hard. There's the next win. We're on nine. We are on nine right now. I could just double cupcake. I might just double cupcake my cricket. We're on the final round. Let's just double cupcake the cricket. The the worm will get maximum buffed anyway. Um, wait, no, I double cupcake the seal. What am I talking about? Let's just double cupcake the seal real quick. Have that. Then he buffs everyone else at the same time. Um, yo, a steak? What if I put a steak on the cow? <laughs> I'm going to put a steak on the cow. What if he snipes me, though? An 810 cow is not going to do anything. Let's just stake the cow. All right, with the with the moral support of the... We're going to move forward and go in for the kill. We're going in for the kill. Don't snipe my melon armor, you son of a bitch. That snipe was godlike. That, that, that scorpion should not have worked that well. Yo, big, big bison at the front. It's a summon build. Oh, no. Oh, no, the buses. They're going to get my melon armor. No. No! Survive! Survive! Yes! Ass boy! Eat it, willing baguettes! Get some! Feed me, wormy! Feed me! Yeah! The power of the cow, the seal, and the holy worm! Get some! Get some! I'm a believer, dude! I'm a believer! Alright, let's get right back into it and do another run. We're going to summon the pony at the front. We're going to put a cricket up here. We're going to reroll the pig because the pig sucks booty. And we're going to buy an otter for the middle. That looks pretty good. Pretty thick cricket run already. Uh, let's go shy ice cubes. Shoutouts to Mr. Seven himself. Shy ice cubes. I believe in a cubes run. I believe. I mean, the shy ice cubes is going up against the desolate ranges. Yo, look at this otter up the front. Yo, double trade. Two for one. Better value. Look at that. We're already taking games. The first win. Uh, fish? I could take a fish. I don't mind a fish at this point. Fish is pretty strong, pretty solid. Let me re-roll that out. I want to find another horse. You know what? Whatever. We'll take a horse. I'll even put a... I'll even take a honey me baby for the cricket right there. Because even if we get rid of the horses eventually, the cricket can go back line and be like a pseudo bee harassment unit. I don't really care. The otter up the front is stupid. It should have been the fish. What am I doing? Yeah, look at that. I could have traded them. <gasps> Four mosquitoes. Delicious muffins. What are you doing? This is degenerate. Oh, no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We tie those. We tie those. Even with a bad order, we still tie those. Um, swap this around real quick. Yeah, do that instead. Get that out of the way. Actually, get rid of the order. I didn't realize. We've got a tarantula here. We've got a little spider. We've got a spidey boy. And we've got some honey for the spidey boy. Um, I've got a pill and a flamenco right here. Do I want to flamenco pill my cricket and my spider? I don't think I do. That sounds kind of dumb. But at the same time, this whole build sounds kind of dumb. Um, You know what? We take the otter. The otter buffs everyone. We sell the otter. We put the flamenco there. The flamenco gets a buff. It's a big kamikaze attacker. Next time we pill the flamenc and we buff up the cricket and the spider, provided we don't find a better unit that we can merge the two horses together. Because right now, someone asked me about merging the horses or merging, you know, other units. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, right there is where a merge would have helped. That was that was awful. Um, wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, by one. That snipe on the horse murdered me. Fine. Maybe merging them would have been better, but I get plus one, one each. Whereas if I merge them, I only get one horse that does plus one. So I'm being greedy damage, but I, I lost that because of because of my greed. Let's pill the flamingo. Just buff the two dudes that have food on them because they're the only ones that have food on them. Crab? No, I don't want the crab. Give me something that I want, like an otter. I will take an otter to buff up my team. I will then sell the otter. I will then... You know what? I'm going to merge the horses real quick. I'm going to buy a swan and I'm going to buy a beaver. To sit up the front because I don't care. I just I just want to cycle through some money and get some solid stuff going on. Buff up the team. Get the team going. Get something happening. At the moment, it's like a pseudo summoner run. I don't want to do that. Okay, my beaver dies pretty hard, but we trade with the with the cricket. Summons. We got a giraffe? Yo, giraffe hype. 
Let me trade the silly fingers all the way down to a tied win. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. Level three. I could get another giraffe. Actually, here we go. We sell the beaver. Yay! Buff the whole team. It's great. We then buy an otter. Yay! Buff the whole team. It's great. We then sell that. We buy a beaver. Yay! Buff the whole team. Woo! <laughs> Oh, yes, it is as dumb as it sounds. It really is. I'm going to put the swan at the front. And you know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to put that there. We're going to re-roll and look for some other stuff. Oh, look, I can lock in another giraffe for the long-term buff game. I don't want any of that. I've got oh, another horse here. Here, we'll buy the horse for now. Why not? Oh, a hippopotamus. I'll keep the hippo for now. Do I want to keep the giraffe, though? Mm, level 2 giraffe is kind of whack. I'm going to keep the hippo for now because I'd love to do turbo hippo. Turbo Shitter's Hippo is is honestly really fun, and I would be down for that if I could sacrifice another Flamingo just for some free boosts. I shouldn't say free. It costs four to do it, but look where we are right now. I've done a whole bunch of buying and selling to buff the team up, and it's pretty thick. The Shy Ice Cubes against the Domesticated Monks. I have fought this team before, excuse me? Excuse me, Mr. Monks, I have fought you before? I don't like where this is going. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, an ox. Wait, turbo ox instead. Mmm. Ooh, I could do turbo ox instead of hippo. But hippo scales longer better. Hippo just does better longer. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do that. Who's the weakest link here? I mean, a 4-6 or a 3-3. Three, three. The spider does summon a 2-2 two, two versus a 1-1, one, one, but... Yeah, I, my, my heart's kind of set on this cricket right now, dude. This cricket is, is pretty godlike. I actually need to sell two things. I just realized, oh dear. Um, sorry, Swan. I know the income is great, but I'm doing this instead. We do this, we do this, we buy this. We then pill you over here. Yay. We buff up these two. I'm not going to take the ox. Maybe I could take the ox for now. Just as like a, a, a side for the time being. That's what I need. I needed this quite desperately. And then we are going to search for... I mean, a kangaroo behind the hippo would be really, really nice. Hippo kangaroo works pretty well. No, none of that. None of that. None of that. And none of that. This is fine. We're going to roll off next turn. Um, this is just for now. The, I know the giraffe is buffing the ox, but for now, we're going to do this. Next turn... Oh, look, the, the elephant dies and we get the buff. Good, 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 good. We trade. Yes. Trade it down. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Make it dead. Good. The sticky bosses dies. Next turn. This turn coming up. What we do is we do some rearrangements. We're going to get rid of the ox because I believe the hippo is going to be really, really solid. Problem is the giraffe can't stay in that case. Actually, no. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do this. We're going to buff the hippo directly. We're going to put garlic armor on the hippo. I'm not going to take a kangaroo. That's just asking for trouble. Instead, we're going to sell the ox. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I've been playing this game for at least a week and a half. <laughs> I'm going to reroll. And we're going to get a swan back. Woo. Amazing. The power of the swan. <sighs> I'm now hyper depressed that I went in a big fat circle just to result myself with like the same thing. Um... Penguin is here, but I can't benefit the Pengi just yet. I'm going to save that swan. Reroll again. Um, I know that there were crickets there. I don't plan to keep crickets long term. I'm going to take a skunk. Skunk sounds like it would be fantastic. I'm going to ditch the horse next turn. Take the skunk instead. And we're going to try and build up a skunk with a really powerful hippo that can start nuking people. Oh, look. This ant's going to die. Um, and then... Oh, damn it. The mosquito was too powerful. Yo, that's a strong... Kangaroo. And he's got... Oh, of course he has a honey badger at the end. I need honey, dude. I need honey. I'm, I'm missing the hun hun. Now let's get rid of the horse. I realize getting rid of the horse now with the cricket there is a dumb idea. But what I'm doing is I'm going to put the cricket there as insurance instead. Buy this. Buy this. Do that. We're going to meet the giraffe. We're going to meet this. We're going to re-roll real quick. We're going to take this. We're going to save both of these for buffing up the hippo next turn. Just to double pair. I, I swear double pair is the way to go. Um, don't dare me with the pears. I'll, I'll do it, dude. I'll do it all day long. So the 7-Eleven, we're gonna... Oh, dude! We're, we're gonna survive the big puff puff. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, it was fine. We, we went through... No, dude! What is that duck? 
No! Oh, you son of a bitch. Fine, you know what? The run was cursed to begin with. I didn't get what I wanted. I was going after a hyper-specific build. We're going to buy... Tell you what, we're going to buy... Damn it, dude. This is awful. We're going to buy one beaver. We're going to re-roll with that... Really? Really? Okay, we're going to buy two beavers and an otter. Believe me, this is the last thing I want to do as well, but we have to do it for now. We're already off to a really weird... Desperate Sailors. I am I'm feeling that mood right now. I'm feeling the Desperate Sailors mood. Uh, after the last run that fell apart before it got a chance to start, I really wanted to go with like a turbo shitter comp and just go all in on that, on that hippo, but it just happened too late and I didn't, I didn't play it out very well. Uh, I'll buy a pair of fish, why not? I will even sell a singular beaver. Actually, I won't sell the singular, actually I will sell the singular beaver. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, damn it. How dare you imply that I don't. I'm gonna put all these here, we're gonna put the cricket up here. We're going to re-roll it out, and we're going to find another cricket to maybe get a level 2 cricket. Bunch of horses, I don't care, we'll end it there. This is what I'm doing. This is what's running in my head. I want either a blowfish, I'd like a hippo nice and early. I'll even go for some sort of weird rhino build, which doesn't last. I feel bad for rhinos. They don't last very long. They kind of suck. Actually, you know what? I don't want a rhino. Rhinos are poopy. Desperate fossils! Sorry, desperate fossils. Oh, there we go. We get it. Yay! We get it. And we get a camel. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Let's sell the beaver. Sell the beaver. Buff up these dudes. We're going to then combine these. We're going to buy this. We're going to buy this. I don't have the money. Uh, I don't care. I'm going in four squad. Think I care? I don't care at all. Um, the elephant hurts the camel, who then buffs the fish who then survives long enough to do good things and make bad things happen to other people. Um, you know what? Buff up the cricket instead. You know, yeah, yeah, go with that. Go with that. There, desperate sailors, go. I just need another pet to go at the back. Maybe like a nice honey badger, you know, something. I'll even take a, a blowfish for the elephant instead of a camel. Dude. Yo, thank you for that. Yo, thank you for that. Yo, thank you for that. Yo, thank you. He's gonna kill the camel. He killed the camel. <laughs> But we got a big cricket as a result. The loose buttocks. <laughs> um, another elephant. Um, I don't want another elephant, do I? Yo, what if I put a dodo here and we just have the camel and the dodo funneling power into a giga cricket? <laughs> I'll, yeah, screw it, I'll buy another elephant. I don't care, dude, I'll take it. Um, put meat on the elephant, though, so he can at least power his way through uh, people. I'll, I'll save the dodo just in case. Uh, I mean, Dodo is whatever. I'll, I'll keep the Dodo for now. If I power the Dodo up enough, it can become a bit of a problem later on, but for now it's kind of stupid. Just plus one damage is not the worst thing in the world, though. The Dodo gives half of its attack to someone else. There we go. That's that's a pretty strong Cricket. That Cricket will run through and, and barely get me through to the end, but, you know, a win is a win. A win is a win. We don't, we don't, we don't question it around here. Okay. Double Elephant. I need... I need to get rid of you for a start. You're kind of not doing anything back there. Here, put you there. Put some honey on you. I'm not going to do this just yet. I'm going... Actually, I should save this honey for this cricket. Um, I need someone else who's not afraid of getting hurt. Okay, elephant. See, if I had... Mm, I, need a, I need a peacock. I need a peacock. I actually desperately need a peacock. I'll sell the swan and put the peacock there and put the cricket in the back if I have to. I don't care. But if I get a peacock and I have a level 2 elephant, the elephant will hurt the camel and the peacock. The peacock gets powered up from its own effect. The camel powers up the peacock and the dodo powers up the peacock. And we have massive power synergy at play right there. Um, I'm taking this honey off. I just realized it's kind of a dumb decision. I should take the swan off if I'm looking for a peacock because I really... I'd like to keep the cricket for the back, but I mean the swan gives me money. I'll keep the swan instead. Yeah, the swan's better long term. A skunk up the front. Interesting choice, dude. Too bad for you, I don't have a high-powered unit up the front just yet. It's still getting there. Um, holy crap, that's a big swan. Okay, Bumbling Bosses is beating our butts in. I need that peacock! Ugh, dude. Okay, peacockles. We buff up the elephant. Alright, the elephant is now doing so much for us. This is incredible. The elephant's gonna attack and do one damage to two friends behind. Which buffs the peacock. The camel buffs up the peacock's life and damage, which compensates for the damage. It's 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 a turbo peacockles over here. Turbo peacockles build. I love it. We are doing it. I can't use you right now. Instead, we'll just buff the team. 
go forward. Go forward, my son. I could have saved the snail in case I lose this to buff up again, but if I start losing here, there's not much else I can do about it. I need a meat for my peacock. That guy's got melon armor. Come on, son. Look at the build on this peacock, though. And it's not good enough. Holy shit, dude. Nasty pencils. All right, all right. Oh, all right. We, we need... We need strength. We need unity. We need... I need a lot more on this peacock. That's what I need. I'm going to save this for a microsecond. I'm going to roll out. We're going to... Okay, we're going to buff up the crew. We're going to buff up this dodo. <gasps> a monkey. But a monkey disrupts the entire build, dude. I don't want to... Do I want to make a turbo elephant? I could make a turbo elephant and put the monkey at the back. But the monkey doesn't help the peacock build. It's a cockles build. But then again, just making the elephant a bit stronger and more survival isn't the worst thing in the world. I'm, I, I'll take it. You know what? We take it. We don't care. We take these. They put them there. We take them. Save the pair. Uh, do I want to save a snail? No. I'm going all in, dude. I just need... Where are my units? I need the units that I have. I need more camels. I need more peacocks for a start. The peacocks is like the main thing I'm building here. Give me more peacockle. Uh, the foamy muffins. That's a really strong peacock. He's got a dodo peacock build. Hello? My build? Son. Son. And then he ca- Ah, oh, son. So no! We're, we're, one, we're, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on end game here, dude. We're on end game. Um, is it, what happened here? Did this even re-roll? Uh, no. Buff up the peacock. Peacock needs, needs help. Peacock, peacock, peacock. I will buy the dodo. No, actually, I'll freeze the dodo. Um, Finally, okay, so we've got we've got a camel upgrade and we've got a dodo upgrade. I don't wait. No, actually meat for the for the for the peacock. I, I spent too much money. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot already. Uh, freeze that there. Uh, none of this helps me right now. Yes, finally a peacock. I can buy these. All right. All right. Elephant son, please survive. I need you to survive. I need I need all of you to work majestically. Yes, kill the sheep. And then, and then kill the swan. You can kill both, I believe. That's a really strong sheep, dude. Oh my god, the shark. And the horse. No, it's the sniffing aunties. Ah. Oh, I'm so bothered by- Again, again, this is fine. We're going to buy a mosquito. I will save the horse for now. Yeah, you know what? Buy this. Buy, buy another one. Whatever, dude. I should have put the horse first, but I wasn't sure. Nefarious ice cubes. Now the cubes have come back with a vengeance. This time it's going to work. This time it's going to work. That build was stupid. It was so whack. If I'd gotten more peacocks quicker... Oh yeah, that trade though. Us, us, us. Damn it, cricket. The running parts. Damn it, cricket. Already off to a great start. Um, Buy another horse. Whatever. Can't get enough horses. Can't get enough horses and crickets and mosquitoes, can we? It's just the best thing in the world. Let's go for it, dude. But yeah, that run... I needed more on the peacock, dude. The peacock was not strong enough. It would have been... It would have been... The ideal solution would have been to get that peacock powered up with a garlic armor on it. Just so it can, like, trade away and just keep attacking forever and ever and ever, but... Whatever. I guess that just wasn't my, my lucky day when it comes to the peacockles. I'm gonna merge the horses early. I'm gonna buy a swan, because I just... I don't want to keep the horse long term. Um, an otter, on the other hand, I might... Uh... No, no, I'm not going to. I, I, uh, do it anyway, just so I get an, ah, uh, please. I hate this. Sell you, put you there, put you there, put you here, there. We'll do that. We roll out and we get another mosquito. I'll save you for the next round so I can get level two and get another level three unit to show up. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like a lot of the level three units. Some of the twos are okay. I'm not a big fan of some level threes though. That's a really bad trade for this fish. Oh my god, the, 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 that was a really bad trade for me, actually. Oh no, wait, cheesy eggplants. We, we come down to a tie. That's fine, that's fine. But the snipe game was pretty on point back there. See, look at this. A lot of the level 2 is not a big fan of. I like 4s the most. Oh wait, there we go, kangaroo. Like, the best level 3 unit that I like the most in the whole wide world. Let's ditch the cricket. Let's put you there. I'm going to put you here. Let's put the kangaroo far up the back, where it can benefit the most from the sheep's nonsense. I'm gonna bone my kangaroo and make him stupid and we're going to re-roll a little bit to find some options. I could dodo my kangaroo but the dodo takes a pretty big commitment to be honest. Um, hedgehog or a crab? I could get a crab. Crab is kind of fun but 
swan. There we go. Tried and true. The good old swan. We're gonna get some money. We're gonna we're gonna throw currency at this build. We're gonna just power through with the power of cash. Cash. And our level two horse is going to supplement how God damn it, these bad trades. No, don't hit my roo, dude. Alright, the roo buffs up. The roo buffs up again. Ugh, the big trade, and we lose. Damn it! The snipes on these one HP uh low low life builds. Wait, dude. Okay, 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 okay. I could sell the mosquito. Get out of here. Buy the snail. Snail buffs everyone. Sell sell you off. I don't care anymore. I buy a second swan for the front line. I need to get another one of you. I actually kind of need to just put a, a honey on you for longevity. Just, just to survive a few turns. I'll keep the sheep here in case. Keep the sheep in case. No, I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that, dude. No, give me another roo. Give me another roo. Give me another roo. Um, no, I don't care about any of that. I'll get two gold next round, though. One way or another. One way or another, we'll get more gold. A couple of five attack swans at the front. There we go. That's better. That's a good trade for us because he's wasting his food. Because it's already a pretty weak swan to begin with. Uh. 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 That's stupid. Melon. Armor. Damn it, dude. He got an ox. I need... There we go. I need some more longevity on my team. Rooster. That's... Why am I getting these? Why am I getting these, dude? Why am I... A bison? Freeze the bison for now. Rooster, cock-a-doodle-doo. Get, get back there. There we go. I still don't believe in this kangaroo, dude. It call me crazy, but I still don't believe in this kangaroo. I mean, a bison would be kind of nice. I'm not really getting the horses, swans, or sheep. I don't really think I'm going to build a level 3 unit, but, I mean, crazy things have happened. Another ox. Good thing my chick trades with the ox. And finally, something happened here. Something happened. The, the, the kangaroo is still coming close to dying, dude. For this kangaroo to really pop off, we actually need... <sighs> Double skunk. Double skunk. If I get level 2 skunk. Yeah, okay. Okay, I believe. I believe in level 2 skunk. I believe in level 2 skunk. I don't believe in bison right now. That's... that's No, don't intern. That's stupid. Um, food. Call me crazy, but I'm just, I'm at that point now where the team is just not surviving and thriving the way that I want it to. A giraffe for my roo would be nice, but the the sheep, oh, do I care about buffing the sheep? I need something better. I actually need a penguin and another cricket, another kangaroo, not a cricket. I need, I need saving. There's a penguin, but I need the roo. I need the roo. I need the roo. I'll keep all this for now. If I get the kangaroo, we're on easy street. If I get the kangaroo, I will sell the horse, I will buy the penguin, and we will get buffs to the whole team as long as I can find that other skunk, though. But that's got Look at that. Look, ready, ready, ready. The skunk, skunk, skunk. Boom. Screw your camel. Screw your stupid camel, dude. Trade away. Trade away. He kills it. I've got the bee. He didn't have the bee. I had the bee. The bee was with me, not you. You suck. You suck. Um... This is a really risky and stupid decision, but I'm going to food up. I'm going to sell the horse. I'm going to buy the penguin. The penguin gives other level two or three friends plus one every turn. So the swan and the sheep are going to be getting buffed. If I can find my kangaroo or my skunk, uh, it will be an extra buff for them as well. Um, you know what? A pair for the roo. Get the roo going. Power that guy up a little bit. None of this helps me. Save the honey for the, ca for the, the penguin next turn. I might even save some meat next turn just to put on my, my swan or something, dude. Just so I have a good front run basher. Just to do a big 15 um, or 14 damage to the front. See, there you go. The, the ant's going to trade very poorly. The fish then trades and dies. He's got his own big roo. His own big roo lost. And then our roo finishes it off. Good. Good. I like it. Um, none of this is what I want, but I do want honey on you. I want meat on you. I'm going to roll down and search for an option. A cow? <laughs> Am I that desperate that I'm going for a cow? Parrot's not the worst thing in the world either, but I, I'm actually serious. I need... Where are these kangaroos? Double bison, but no kangaroo? No skunk either? I'm, I'm actually pretty aware that skunk is going to be a hard thing to find. I'm just going to food it up. No, I'm being... I'm being stubborn. I'll save meat for the skunk. I'll save meat for the sheep. I don't care, dude, but... 
I, I want this kangaroo. I want a level... Like, the Roo is still staying competitive, all things considered. He's he's at 7-7. Seven, seven. He buffs up pretty hard from this sheep's set of attacks. Ooh! Ooh! That's mean, son. That's mean. Good thing I've got the power of big sheep. Unfortunately, he's got the power... I've got the power of bee! Yes! I was going to say, he has the power of ox, but ox is nothing compared to the power of big bee. Speaking of Big B, Honey Badger looking me in the face right there, begging me, pleading with me, do it, Beals, do it, take the bee. No, I will not take the the, the Honey Badger strategy. Kangaroo, finally! And a dragon, no, I'm not doing a dragon build, even though there's a one right there. Um, garlic for my skunk. I'm, I'm determined, dude, to get this skunk on board. I will get chocolate before I get... <gasps> no, it is not a monkey run. You can't... There it is! You can't monkey. Although, look how close this would have been to, like, a good... Look, all the bison I've found, plus the monkey. If I just got a level 3 something or other, which I probably could have had at some point. Um, but penguin is better for buffing. I mean, we're getting plus 111 to the whole team. We're not consolidating it into a single target. That sucks, but... We're going to be getting a, a, a team of plus twos. If I can get another penguin, that'd be great. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to roll it out. Can I get a penguin or another, another? No, of course you would. Whatever, that's fine. Now the kangaroo gets a buff from the penguin every turn. It's it's a boosting buff. It continues to build. So our swan is going to hit for 17 against this 13 cricket. It's a pretty strong cricket. We're going to trade off into a death. Our skunk did weaken him a little bit, though. Uh, Rams trading away. Trade. <gasps> no, that that's that's a that's a turkey build, dude. That turkey build is massive. Am I on death? I am on death store. Okay, okay. The skunk is getting boosted. The skunk will now reduce the life of a target by 66% um, when it fires off its attack. And at this point, all I can really do is food up or find another penguin. Try and just this is stupid. Like Going late game with a with a kangaroo, trying to boost up a kangaroo is dumb because I don't have. What if I put you that you're not? Are you survivable enough? Are you gonna like live long enough to get more than two attacks in? Because right now the cricket, the the sheep strategy, sorry, is giving him two attacks guaranteed to buff up. Whereas if I had a really beefy like 50-50 unit at the front, it'd be a lot better. But I'm kind of not doing that right now. I know I could put a monkey here and monkey my swan and put my kangaroo behind my swan. Put a garlic armor on my swan and have it live longer and prosper. But that's a smart option. And you know... Me and smart options don't get along. I see two skunk options though. I see a skunk and I see a chocolate. If I get level 3 skunk and I can... Oh, 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 oh. It's there, it's there, it's there. Yes, yes, yes. Survive. Survive for level 3 skunk. A level 3 skunk guarantee reduces their highest health unit to 1. It literally cuts their life by 99%. So this this stupid pig, for example, would be a non-factor. Oh, uh, oh, I'd not survive. No, dude, I just got my level 3 skunk set up. Ugh. These meme builds aren't with me, I'm not gonna lie. I try and do a really stupid bad comp with just dumb pets. And, I mean, it would have been smarter just to go for a level 3 pet, pick up the monkey early, put the bison to the front with a, with a um, melon armor on it, and just go turbo bison like anyone else would. That is fine, but with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some super auto pets beating each other up Pokemon style. Don't tell Peter. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one.